All right, welcome back, everybody. Now, we've introduced you to Senora Teresa, and we're bringing her back to learn more about her work in our community in this week's edition of Fill Your Cup. here at Castle High School on the windward side of Oahu. And once again, everybody, we are joined with Senora Teresa. And last week we introduced you to her musical history, but now we want to talk about what fills her cup in terms of church, because I know you are very heavily involved in church and you are part of a group within your church that went out to the prisons and you would preach the gospel to the inmates over there. Why did you want to do that? Why was that important for you? Well, first of all, they asked for volunteers to go to the prison because they need the Lord, they need the word, and they need music to make him life in the in the prison. So we had a group from my church, and there was five of us, including the pastor, a lady, and then three of the congregation, myself, and then we bring the guitar, and then we sing to them, and then we give them the word, read the Bible, and if they need it, uh, prayer for any reason, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of moms inside there mm -hmm. with their children outside, and they don't know what they're doing, how they're doing, and who's taking care of them. So we help them to feel that somebody is taking care of them, and it's the Lord Jesus. Amen. Describe your relationship with the Lord. What is that like? I love the Lord since I became a Christian. Um, I am the leader of the worship, mm -hmm. and then I always with the music, with the songs, and they have a group in there, piano player, drummer, myself, and a bass player. And uh, we always like to sing to the Lord yeah. because that makes you feel nice and, and comfortable. Yeah. And then you know that the, He is the one that gives you the life. How did the inmates receive the message and the music? A lot of them been there for lots of years or maybe lifetime. Mm -hmm. And this makes them, uh, give them comfort, and they feel like uh, somebody is there to take care of them. So over the course of the years that you were um, preaching at these prisons, you saw the genuine change within these inmates. Yes, we did. They accepted Jesus. They become mm -hmm. Christians. And uh, some really take the word yeah. in their hearts. Yeah. And that makes them live even in the prison better. What's your favorite verse? It says, I will never leave you and never forsake you. Mm -hmm. Nunca te dejaré, nunca te desampararé. Beautiful. So after you go into the prisons and you talk to the inmates, you feel good about yourself, Clark. especially with the music. Amen. What kind of songs would you sing to them? Um, we sing like, uh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I love that. Si Cristo me ama. Si Cristo me ama. Si Cristo me ama. La Biblia dice así. If there is a message that you would like to tell all of those inmates, um, right now, if they're watching Living 808, what would that be? To love Jesus with all their heart, because He's the only way, He's the life, and He's everything mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. And He can open the doors again for them yeah. to get out of that prison. Beautiful. Do you feel that your favorite way of worshiping is through music? Yeah, it is, it is music, because that's my life music. I love that. And speaking of music, I heard that you actually wrote a song with a fellow teacher of yours. Tell us about the song that we're going to hear in just a second. Oh, it's going to be about the colors. We learned the, the Spanish through the music yeah. and dancing, and we sing the colors. Amen. And with the help of my teacher, Natalie. Perfect. She's actually standing right by, yes. and we're going to hear from her in a second. Yes. So filling your cup through worship and music and sharing the gospel to the inmates and prisoners of Oahu. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, is it okay, Which... if, we, is it okay if we listen to some of that songs that you were telling us? Of course. All right. Con mucho gusto. <laughs> Amarillo, café dorado y anaranjado, azul y morado. 
nada más. Abajo, más abajo y abajo, nada más. Adentro y afuera, todos a bailar. A la derecha, a la derecha, a la derecha, todos a bailar. Hey, 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 a la derecha a bailar. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love her so much. That was really great, and she's so cute. And the fact that the guitar is bigger than her makes it that much cuter. That's amazing. And so we've told you about her in the past. Yeah. She was literally like a rock star in Mexico. And it's so cool. I mean, and now she's a teacher here in the Hawaii. And it's, or, or well, now she, well, or she's. Worship. A worship. worship. Yeah. She worships. Um, but you know, she's, I feel like, just done so many great things in the community, not just for students, but also for inmates, which yeah. has been really neat to see. So really love that. Yeah. That was so neat. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, and so is what we have She's on the great. table. But we do want to tell you that Fill Your Cup is sponsored by Drink Up Cafe, home to this week's featured drink, pumpkin spice chai tea. Mm -hmm. Experience the comforts of fall mm -hmm. with today's pumpkin spice chai tea. This drink is sure to wake your taste buds up to the coming season of fall. And as we know, mm. fall time. Everyone's gonna be drinking pumpkin everything. And you can Did check- Did you say everything? Everything. Everything. And you can drink up at the Drink Up Cafe oh, man, at their good. swap meet. They actually have a swap meet that's happening today or at the Waikai Market on Thursday. And of course, you can always enjoy this drink and so much more at Drink Up Cafe. Their address is one- 221-1221, Kapilani Boulevard. And this is super good. Is it? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, I already got it. How cute is this? And wait, I, 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 I want to tilt it so you can see the top, but it has a little bit of a foam. I'm not going to because I'm afraid it will spill, but also with the, uh, it looks like cinnamon on top. Delicious. Thank you, guys. I've actually never had a pumpkin spice. Mm. This is super good. Chai lattes are kind of my go-to. Oh. This is delicious.